Today we're taking a look at the top three decks for February of 2022. Guys, the meta has just changed. A ton of new decks are now springing up. And these are the decks we're going to focus on today. Two of them are brand new and one is an OG deck that is now super strong in the meta. This is the deck I was talking about that just came back because the Giant Musketeer and Mei Pekka all received buffs. They're very strong in the game right now. This deck will absolutely crush for you guys. We are in match number one immediately, guys. And with this deck, this deck is so much fun because you got the Minion Horde. Sorry, you got the Minions. You got the Mini Pekka. You got the Musketeer. You got so many cards that you really don't typically use at least for me i really don't use many of these cards very often so it's nice to play with them now we can go with our minions here and if he goes with anything crazy we could go with a giant kite um actually let's just giant right here guys he does end up going with the electro wizard so we're just gonna skeleton army this skeleton army will take out the ewes it'll take out the mega knight because he just used the zap spell and now we have a giant skarmy moving up that he very well might not be able to deal with guys does he have an answer? We're going to see a tornado. So that means we can graveyard. And this dude is so low on elixir. Guaranteed. What does he have in store for this? Apparently nothing. And we are starting this video off with a bang. With deck number one. You can see why this deck is so strong. You really can't stop. It's got a lot of bait. It's got a lot of uh, arrows bait. With the graveyard, the minions, and the skeleton army, of course. Then you also have the musketeer to put it in work against balloons. You have the snowball and arrows to help you guys out with all those spells. And this is interesting. Let's go ahead and just musketeer the back i'm not exactly sure how i feel about this right now because sparky could actually be pretty lethal if not dealt with correctly so we're gonna go with our minions here we can always go with our giant to tank we see the heal spirit probably also gonna zap there it is let's go ahead and mini pack of this so that sparky at least will die to the musketeer which is exactly what we were looking for there we go ahead and skarmy i messed up that timing horribly so the mega knight does hop and kill the entire skarmy um but other than that i think we can definitely giant this if need be um, actually, let's just let this go. Let's just let this go. It's not going to do too much damage to where it'll take our whole tower, but at the same time, we should be able to save up some elixir and maybe take out his three crown or take out his uh, king tower here. Let's do it. Let's push for the three crown immediately, guys. I'm feeling a bit crazy. So he's got Mega Knight Sparky, by the way. A fun interaction, uh, a fun combination, I might. Fun combination because you just don't see it too often. And it is a fairly strong combo. We see the Sparky, though. We're going to need to graveyard this, guys. I'm not trying to let this Sparky kill everything we're sending right now. We see the Heal Spirit. We're definitely going to get a little bit overwhelmed here for a second. Um, let's go ahead and Skeleton Army, though. We're just going to try and protect this Giant. He gets a nice NATO. He's definitely going to zap. Okay, Electro Wizard comes down. Sparky did take a pretty big amount of damage from those uh, Skeletons that we spawned. Let's go ahead and see what we can do, though. We're going to have to Giant Kite this, guys. I am terrified of that Mega Knight right now. Um, for obvious reasons, right? That thing is coming in hot. Let's go ahead. Our minions take it down. We can go the Musketeer as well. Musketeer will hopefully... Okay, no. Musketeer just completely abandons us. Let's go the Skeleton Army here. No way. The Skeletons actually get pulled across the bridge. Okay, this is rough. This is very rough. Let's go into the Mini Paka. Hopefully, he just wasted all of his Elixir, so he's going to get attacked by this. Can we go with something? Come on now. Come on now. Let's go Mini Paka. This is all you. This is all you. He rages his King Tower. Is it enough? No way. We get it! Yes, dude! What a crazy match. We did not play that well, but that was so back and forth, we almost threw it. And I think the reason is, is because he had so many answers to our Skarmy, and the Sparky was definitely giving us some trouble there. A good match for game number one, though. We come out on top anyways. Let's go, dude. Deck number two, for the best decks of February, is going to be this Archer Queen Mega Knight deck. It's number one in the world right now. Mo Light's playing it. You got the Poison, you got the Snowball, you got so many great answers up in here. Poison entirely counters the Graveyard, which is a very strong variant deck going on right now. Lots of good Graveyard decks. So the Poison is definitely a good move. Mega Knight and Bridge Spam with the Ram Rider and uh, Band are also just going to be fantastic and then the archer queen as well if you have or use or if you don't use the magic archer but the archer queen here gonna be fantastic let's get into game number two we are in here for match number two let's get it going hopefully it's as good as that first match that first match was so back and forth we're gonna we're gonna just ram out of first play this is good because it applies a lot of pressure sometimes they spend way more elixir than they should we see all of that coming down a snowball a mini pekka all sorts of bad plays going on right there we're gonna be able to actually kill pretty much the entire mini pekka if i'm cor or the musketeer i mean if i am correct uh mini pekka does get a hit though that hurts because that basically just completely cancels out all the good damage we just got um but we really had nothing for it we needed our snowball and cycle nothing we can do about that let's go ahead and just barbell that scar me so he's actually using the deck we were just playing how funny is that let's go barb gets a big hit there that's what we like to see 2104 hp left on that right side tower let's go with 
Um, well, now that we have the snowball, at least, I mean, we're going to be sitting in a good spot. He goes with a level 10 giant. Let's just Mega Knight this, um, because the Mega Knight's going to be super tanky. It's going to be really good on defense here. And we can over Inferno Dragon over top. We can Ram Rider to slow this thing down. We got plenty of options right now. And what's cool about this, guys, is I think we're going to be able to Inferno Dragon this and hopefully have this lock on before he goes with minions, which that is the case. That's beautiful. He does snowball. We're going to snowball ourselves. Just slow everything down. The Mega Knight and Inferno Dragon should be able to cook up that giant nice and easy. That's what we like to see, guys. That is what we like to see. Let's go ahead and bandit this. We'll also be able to actually uh, barbell a skeleton army. Potentially, yes, dude. That was a really good barbell. Unfortunately, our bandit's only level 10. So she does still get a dash, but she doesn't get as much damage as she would have. And holy smokes, the retarget was so overpowered. We get so much damage there. Imagine if it was level 11 bandit. I think we would have maybe taken that whole tower. He's, he's upset, and I can completely understand why. Let's just ram rider. Let's keep the pressure high. We see the musketeer um, and the ram rider. Guys, he's given us so much poison value as well. Don't be like this guy. Don't give everyone poison value that they don't deserve let's go mini packer we're gonna need to take this thing down with just a snowball let's do it come on snowball boom go on let's go nice we do defend it with just two elixir so good so beautiful let's go ahead go with our archer queen in the back we're gonna try and defend this giant now he hasn't placed his minions yet which we do know he's got um or sorry no he's got bats instead doesn't he he's got the bats version interesting yeah he does have bats okay 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 well, let's do this then Let's go. With an Inferno Dragon out here, he does snowball. That's good that he wasted the snowball. We can 100% go with our Archer Queen ability just to shred. We can go with our Bob Barrel. Uh, we could poison the bridge as well if we have to. But we're looking really good right now, especially with this Archer Queen just sitting back, taking a vibe. We're taking it all down right now. I mean, you can see this deck just completely shutting down this opponent. We're going to say good game because I do not think there's anything they're going to be able to do here. Let's just go with the Archer Queen ability. We nail the Skarmie yet again, bro. We're going to say good game because there's just Mega Knights on Mega Knights right now. He, does, he is able to Arrows, but holy smokes. Double Bandit, double Mega Knight. It's all going down. Game number two. It's another three crown, guys. What a good couple first games today. Let's go. This has been deck number two. And deck number three, the final one of the day, is going to be this one that we featured in yesterday's video. It's going to be the Royal Hogs, the Magic Archer, the Hunter deck with the Infernal Tower because this deck is so good, fun to use, and effective in this current meta. We are here for our final match of the day. Let's do this thing. Let's go with one unit skeletons in the back. We're cycling. We're getting out what he might have in the deck. Let's go with Hunter. We could have Infernal Towered, but I'm just going to save it. Why not, right? Why not? So we got to find out what his answers are to our deck guys um the hunter the magic archer these are so good such good cards let's go with the magic archer right here we'll actually be able to get a good lineup that's a nasty lineup guys some quick chip damage right there let's also honestly let's go with the raw hogs right here right into a valkyrie you know what i'm saying let's go raw hogs you hop out of the way they're going everywhere the log comes down and the magic archer is still alive are you kidding me right now guys a tornado that's not the best for us. Let's go ahead and go with our Infernal Tower, though. We'll be able to take this hog down. Let's go. Um, we can also distract anything we want with our one unit skeletons. He's got a real fast cycling deck, though. We go with our skeletons there. The tower deals with all the rest of it. Um, this is going to be a fun one. Uh, he's got a quick cycling deck. We got a quick cycling deck. I hope ours is better. Um, but he's got the Stab Goblins, Valkyrie, um, Ice Spirit. It's looking interesting. Let's go with the Hunter here. Is this a Viper deck? It could be. I have no idea. We, yes, it is. Okay, so he's going to maybe rocket this. Maybe not. Let's go. Let's go with our uh, Ice Golem out here. So then it distracts the Executioner a little bit. Is, are we going to see a Valkyrie, though? Let's go with our Magic Archer, guys. Let's just tag this tower up. You know what I'm saying? Look at that value out of the Magic Archer. Continuously chipping away at this man's tower here. Let's go ahead and go with a Log. Yes, I knew you'd go with an Ice Spear or those Goblins. One or the other. It's great value either way, guys. Let's go. The uh, goblins come down. He's really trying to keep the pressure high. I understand why. But, guys, it's not going to be the way to taking us out. Because look at that. I mean, we still flawlessly defend and We have a good amount of elixir right now. He doesn't have a building, if I am correct. I think. I, yeah, I don't think so. So let's just test the waters here with some more royal hogs. Because he's got the rocket. Does he decide to rocket these? No way, right? We see the executioner and valkyrie we're still gonna be able to get so much damage off with that though let's go with the infernal tower right here preemptively we know all this is coming down well earthquake right here ice spirit comes down we see the goblins let's go ahead and just log all of this we'll be able to ice golem to tank the nato comes out look at all of this stuff coming in but guys this deck's defense is so fun it's effective it's great let's go with the skeletons here probably gonna see another hog rider um yep there it is let's go ahead and just hunter this hunter's tanky he'll be able to sacrifice or he'll be able to absolutely shred through one of those things let's go with a log right here we get absolutely dude we didn't even need the log look at the power he wasted a nato so we'll just waste an earthquake here let's keep it going 
Um, does he decide to go with anything crazy? Let's go with the Royal Hogs here. Let's do it. We'll also be able to manage Garcher the Valkyrie. Oh my gosh, guys, this is too easy. Look how much damage we're about to get. That might be game over right there. That's so much damage. Let's go, Magic Archer. Another big hit, and that will be game over as we just go with the Earthquake. You can see why this deck is so nuts. Viper deck, one of the best decks in the game. It's been good for so long. We take it down with ease there. Not able to get anything going. The opponent goes down so you can directly see why these three decks are some of the top three decks in february these decks are going to be absolutely nuts throughout the entire meta i would definitely say to those of you guys that don't have archer queen swap in the magic archer here if you guys don't have any legendaries here like graveyard just don't use this deck if you don't have the magic archer once again just don't use this deck but guys i hope you enjoyed all these deck links will be down below in the description so thank you so much for watching everybody have a fantastic day master diddy san ah.